This is Albemarle Digger. What you're looking at are pieces of a ration can that came out of a pit that we dug at DIV 12, which took place in Culpeper, Virginia. When the can came out of the pit, it looked as though there were enough pieces there to reconstruct the entire can. So I gathered them all up and I've treated them with a coat of this rust fix just to sort of stabilize the rust and my goal is, is to reconstruct the can um, and see about preserving some history. The unique thing about this can is its size. Most ration cans that you see are round. This particular ration can happen, will measure four and three quarters wide six inches tall and two inches deep. Because the uh, pieces are so fragile, I've taken a balsa wood block which won't add much weight to it. I'm going to use that as the form to build the can around. That'll add a little bit of structural integrity to the can. As you can see, I've already got some pieces on there. That's what that was one one whole piece that I pulled out. And there's, my goal is now to use the magnifying glass, try to match up the pieces, and, and reconstruct it a um, piece at a time. I was able to determine the size of the can by measuring the distance between this point right here and this point right here and duplicating that from this point here to the edge of the block. This portion of the can was uh, pretty much complete so that pretty much dictated the, uh, the height of the can. As far as re putting the pieces back together some of it will be fairly easy. For example this piece right here You can see has an edge to it, a little uh, the folded edge, and that'll go along the edge just like this piece right here. That piece right there obviously makes a uh, 90 degree turn, and the, the seam makes a 90 degree turn right there. So uh, I know that's going to be a corner and probably at the bottom. But anyhow, I'm going to start with these pieces that I know and uh, I'm going to get busy. Whew, this jigsaw puzzle was addicting. I worked most of the night on it. It's um, six hours later, two pots of coffee, and my project is nearly complete. All the parts have been put back into place. Uh, this piece you see right here is actually, I think, the top to the uh, to the container that sits on the top right here. And uh, my ration can is com has been completed, except for the final treatment. About all that's left there are a few specks of rust here and there and a little piece here and there but for the most part I think I've got everything back to its original position and uh, I think the can's looking pretty good. Nice little piece of history preserved. The next step of my project was to uh, give it an application of Total Solutions Rust Converter. Uh, this is an advanced rust protection formula it not only converts the rust back to a, a good solid condition, but also adds a little bit of body and fills the cracks and that sort of thing. It's probably one of the best uh, rust converters I've ever used. I use it on a lot of different things. Uh, total applications takes uh, a while to cure, and this can took two coats, so uh, it's just now finished curing 
and I just wanted to show you the complete project. I've got the can all the way back together, completely restored, uh, treated with the total solutions. Most of the cracks are, are, are pretty well filled. And uh, let me just show you what the can looks like. This is one side of the can. Just looking at it from the top without the lid on it. That's the way the lid would look. One side of the can. The other side of the can. Here's the bottom. And here's the uh, seam side. So anyhow, the restoration project, reconstruction is complete. Everything's well preserved, back together. And I've got a, uh, uh, a nice ration can. A lot of people wanted to know why I went through the trouble of restoring this. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that this is a relatively rare can. You see a lot of round ones, but you very seldom see any of these uh, rectangular cans. So the opportunity presented itself to rebuild one. And uh, now I have a nice one for my collection. And I've preserved a little bit of history, and I'm pretty proud of the uh, end result of that. So anyhow, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you in another edition sometime soon. Thank you.